while the great Eusebio was watching on the singing of his national anthem uh, I would naturally expect him to be here in such a critical night we just feel lucky to be here yeah certainly and the atmosphere is tremendous looking forward to a special game I hope it doesn't sort of drop away because of the intensity because of how much rides on this game I really hope we're going to see a special game I have that feeling that we are right the two lineups first of all Holland their goalkeepers to Kellenberg defence Van der Waal, Blaar, Matthijssen and Willems then we got Van der Vaart and De Jong then Robin Van Persie and uh, not Robin Van Persie it's Robin then Van Persie then Schneider and finally Huntelaar uh, Portugal's goalkeeper is Patricio their defence Pereira Bruno Alves Pepe and Cantrao uh, in midfield Morales Veloso Moutinho then Nani Postiga and uh, captain Ronaldo Van der Vaart the skipper of the Dutch tonight reminding you of the situation in Group B Germany have six points Portugal and Denmark have three points each and the Dutch have none but nobody is certain of anything as we wait the next 90 minutes of football we'll keep you right across the game in the fifth Germany Denmark you can hear commentary on that on five live sports extra with Darren Fletcher and Jan Mulvey and just prior to kick off and I must tell you too the referee is from Italy Nicola Rizzoli a very fine official the last time these set sides met was six years ago in the last 16 of the World Cup in Germany there were four red cards 16 yellow cards it's still a World Cup record the game was staged in Nuremberg and guess which city Nuremberg is twinned with you've got it Kharkiv <laughs> everybody knows what's going to happen out there Portugal are all in red they'll be kicking off uh, Holland all in black and we cannot wait if it's the same standard of football that we witnessed earlier in Group B we're in for a treat Nick Rizzoli the referee of course is waiting for this wholly artificial countdown to kick off some idiot either in the organising committee or in UEFA decided we have to come down from 10 to 1 the players are ready we can't kick off because of this artificial nonsense is it television link it in with the television um, as to when the adverts have finished couldn't possibly comment but uh, certainly we are waiting everybody's anxious to get this game underway uh, but it's only bouncing up and down at his heels and here comes the countdown I knew you couldn't wait for it Where would we be without that? <laughs> well, the stadium's not quite full. There are empty seats, uh, notably at the end to our right where the Portuguese fans are gathered, but there's a blaze of orange to our left. I estimate there must be 33, 34,000 inside yeah. this arena. And Holland are on the attack immediately. Here's Van der Vaart. Van der Vaart to Schneider in towards Hundelar. Hundelar's attempted pass to Van Presley didn't come off and Portugal have it with Nani of Manchester United near side of the field into Chelsea's Morales who makes a, a big act of going down he was fouled it is a free kick but he does need to go down like that well I don't think Van der Vaart is capable of actually doing that to somebody as strong as Morales no it was nothing uh, but uh, that's the way we expect unfortunately we've seen quite a lot of play acting we haven't had any red, red cards since the opening day <laughs> Holland and uh, the Portuguese might change that little record after the free kick the ball's out of play on the far side of the field throw in to be taken by the Portuguese skipper Ronaldo Ronaldo to Postiga down the left flank Postiga tackled by Vlar uh, selected instead of Heitinger tonight and now it's back by the fullback Van der Waal to the goalkeeper Stekelenberg winning his 50th cap this evening for the Dutch his clearance left footed to the halfway line and good control by Schneider Schneider not in that central position uh, as he has been in the first two games behind Van Persie he's expected to play down the left side but of course they're so fluent that that trio behind Huntler they can pop up anywhere here's the big thing isn't it the movement of players particularly off the ball 
and both of these sides are capable actually of doing that particularly Holland when they're playing at their best Matthijsson um, to Vlaar Vlaar 20 yards short of the halfway line to Van der Waal the Dutch started so well against Denmark and against Germany but it didn't count for anything they lost the games Matthijsson to De Jong De Jong on to Van Persie Van Persie to Schneider down the left side and on to the 18 year old left back Willems back to Schneider into Van Persie Van Persie saw that Van der Vaart had moved into an offside position plays the ball backward to De Jong on to Schneider Schneider gets a throw in off this near side of the field Pereira tapping it out of play throw in taken by Schneider back to De Jong there was an astonishing 310 passes completed by the Dutch in the first half against Germany I mean mind bending how many goals Willems down the left side in towards Huntler and uh, that was well defended actually by Bruno Alves because quite cutely he, he sort of barged Huntler and made sure the Dutch striker didn't get anywhere near the cross belted up field by Portugal straight through to the Kellenberg are, are we ex- anticipating Graham you know non-stop Dutch attacking and I think now I'm expecting them to dominate the game in terms of possession we've just been talking about that not that Portugal won't keep the ball as well when they get it, but we're seeing now it's all sort of the, the Dutch holding the ball, which they're very, very good at. But I've made the point quite a few times, they're going to have to penetrate and they're going to have to have an end product to all of the possession because in the last two games they've seen that it's counted for nothing. They're going to have to make sure they create uh, scoring opportunities and hopefully take them. Van der ba- uh, Baal on towards Arjen Robin. Arjen Robin shouldn't have got to that ball, but he did get to the ball. And then he back heels it to Van der Waal. Van der Waal with a cross. Deep for Huntelaar. Over Huntelaar's head. Schneider with a volley wide of goal. The first little movement there, is it? Cross a little bit sort of heavy. But uh, Schneider, you could argue, perhaps he could have taken it down. He was going to do well. The ball bounced up high. He had to take it on the volley at a very acute angle. And, uh, and missed a goal. It, it would have been a very, very good uh, good effort if he'd got that really on target. There are any number of criteria for deciding things. Should teams finish level on points? Uh, it's even more uh, complicated when three teams could finish level on points. And that that's a scenario that could happen tonight. Uh, we'll keep you up to date without thrusting too much information into your mind because it's, it is very complicated well, that's spent, my excuse we've spent a large part of the day haven't we trying to if this happens what, who goes through well if that happens who goes through so it's, uh, it is quite complicated certainly if all teams finish on the same got, number of points got a very handy little monitor to our left which quote updates the table and there's been no change so far remember the winners of this group and will play against Greece in Gdansk next Friday. The runners-up will be against the Czech Republic in Warsaw on Thursday. And such is the quality in Group B, I wouldn't be at all surprised to see the two teams that emerge from this group making the semi-finals. De Jong to Van der Vaart. Back to Schneider. Schneider to Van der Vaart once more. And now Nigel De Jong. Wesley Schneider again for Holland. They're still around the halfway line. De Jong in towards Van Persie oh Van der Vaart shouldn't really have intercepted that because it was aimed uh, towards Van Persie would have reached him but now it's Van der Vaart on the far side of the field both of these Dutch fullbacks will push forward and this man will attack all the time Robin into Van der Vaart 25 yards out shoots a goal a block quite easily by Matinho and here comes Nani on the counter attack for Portugal maybe they'll be happy to counter attack they do have the players suited for that game Nani in towards Matinho, who was fouled. Uh, the referee waits. Oh, goodness. I, why did he not get the free kick? Yeah. Well, he waited a long time. Finally blows his whistle. He's given it for another incident, though. He didn't give it for the previous incident. Ronaldo was very angry. And you can see him now appealing. And then another free kick. And he dived, didn't he? Yeah. He dived. For the alleged foul yeah. on Postiga. But I, I thought it was a foul on Martinho. It was. Uh, actually, with, the referee had yeah. his back to the incident. Yes, he did. So, free kick now to Portugal. And... Even though it's a good 35 yards from goal, Cristiano Ronaldo is going to have a crack. Stekelenburg beware. Nearly seven minutes played here in Kharkiv. Nil-nil in this critical game in Group B. Ronaldo, is this his moment? Or his first moment in Euro 2012? Here comes the drive. Takes a deflection, loops over the crossbar. Corner. Yeah, well, we've seen him... uh 
score from that distance before so you never know what to expect now by his own standards he's had a disappointing tournament so far I saw a quote from him the other day saying that you know he felt himself that he could do better Martinho uh, to take the corner from the left in front of the area where most of the Portuguese fans are gathered from the left in towards the near post headed on and it's inside the penalty chair, or at least it was. Now it's knocked back in there, and it's allowed to go a long way to Kellenberg. Didn't convince her. It's played in just onto the roof of the net by Pereira. Well, the referee's given a free kick for the foul on the keeper, which uh, I'd like to see that again because I don't know whether he's overprotecting the keeper there. I I don't rate to Kellenberg. You just watch it now, and we've just got the replay. They've both gone for the ball. Anyway, it didn't uh, count for much in terms of a goal, and it's still. Nil-nil in Lviv between Germany and Denmark. So the situation is as it was at the start of the game. Germany with maximum points. Uh, then the Danes and the Portuguese. The Portuguese had the advantage over Denmark because they beat them. And then the Netherlands at the bottom of the table. But things can switch very quickly here in Group B. Robin, good header on. Huntelaar now. Uh, back to Robin. Uh, Van der Waal down the right side. He's attacked a lot, the right fullback. Van der Waal, mid, Van der Waal rather. Midway inside the Portuguese half. Back to De Jong. Uh, Van der Waal's available. And now Van Persie. Uh, Van der Waal wants more. Van Persie's dropped deep. And he was doing that even when Huntelaar wasn't in the starting 11. Schneider in towards Van Persie. And across came Pepe of Real Madrid. And Pepe chips it away to temporary safety. And then Nani does well, holding off Schneider. Nani with Ronaldo in field. But Nani's... Uh, well, he ran quite deliberately into Schneider and the referee didn't buy that as a The ball. referee did very well there. Seven or eight yards away from the incident, saw Nani run deliberately into uh, Schneider. Van der Vaal of Ajax on the far side of the field. May not be at Ajax much longer. Lots of teams sniffing around him, particularly in the Premier League. This is five live on the BBC. Holland nil, Portugal nil in Kharkiv. The temperature... Uh, mercifully is not quite as high as it was for the first two games in this uh, the second city of Ukraine here's Matajsen to Vlar surprised that Heitinger was left out Graham? Um, I'm, I'm never too certain do you know what I mean Heitinger yes fine but is occasional I think loses concentration just now and again that's just my view of him Robin to Van der Vaart Van der Vaart great ball into Schneider oh Schneider uh, didn't bring it under control he was offside anyway yeah just sometimes I you know I, I see him make what I think are mistakes by lack of concentration so we've got a free kick to Portugal their goalkeeper Patricio whether he's just 24 years of age a few excellent young goalkeepers mm. in this Euro 2012 and of course Joe Hart for England who seems to have been around for ages. He would have been my starting goalkeeper in the World Cup. Here's Ronaldo. Ronaldo, tackle, loses the ball to Van der Waal. It's back with uh, Van der Vaart now. Van der Vaart, uh, inside his own half. I don't expect him to spend that much time there. It's a good flick pass to the right side to Van der Waal again. And on now to Arjen Robben, who's going to give Contrao a busy night. Robben coming forward, edge of the penalty. Contrao uh, just blocks that with his body and clears it poorly straight to Van der Waal Van der Waal back to Van der Waal and now Willems calling for the ball on the near side the left full back Schneider is wide left Willems runs forward taking it towards that penalty area then the ball breaks off uh, Portuguese player and one back well by Matheson Van Persie to Robin on the far side Van Persie's on the overlap Robin up to the edge of the penalty area. back to Van der Waal Van der Waal shot 1-0 Holland the stand-in captain makes the breakthrough with less than 11 minutes played great shot 25 yards out left footed the goalkeeper Patricio no chance it's Holland 1 Portugal 0 job half done what an excellent goal and we've seen these from Van der Vaart before played back to him and he opens it up onto his left foot you almost know what he's going to do but it's stopping it he got it accurate he bent it round into the far corner an excellent finish just what to Holland are looking for and they've done tonight what they didn't manage to do in the first two games namely a company a really bright start to the game with a goal Definitely. now Holland have taken the lead what will this mean for a Portuguese mind they're going to have to change their mindset you know 
they, they mustn't be too defensive Portugal maybe at the start of the game they thought they were well and capable of holding out the Dutch in terms of a two goal margin we'll see it's still nil nil in the Viv and let's uh, get the latest news remember Jan Moby is there in the company of Darren Fletcher it's nil-nil here, Alan, but Germany are dictating things. There's just been a huge cheer inside the stadium from the Denmark supporters who have heard the scoreline from your game. But here it's nil-nil. There's been one really good chance. Thomas Muller from close range. Brilliant save by Stefan Andersen. So nil-nil here in Lviv at the moment. Thanks very much, Darren. And I, I should remind you, of course, if the Danes get a point, you know, that puts them into second place. Holland can do no more than three points and as things stand at the moment Holland and Portugal would have three points Denmark would have four points and Germany seven points so they they need the double whammy the Dutch they need Germany their fierce rivals to beat Denmark there's no doubt about that but all they can do is simply hit themselves and they know they have to win this game by two clear goals and so they'll get them they've had a good start they've dominated possession but they've had an end product now with an excellent goal by Van der Vaart, giving them this 1-0 lead. The World Cup runners up in South Africa lead Portugal by a goal to nil here in Kharkiv. The city of missiles. The nets we're heading to next is all about coal. Here's Billums down the left side. Not a great ball ahead of Van Persie and it's cleared and Postica should win that down the right side Nani's ahead of him it's played towards Nani but it's slightly overhead and Vlaar gets across to make the interception for Holland and clear the ball over the halfway line that was careless of Postica if he'd given a decent pass to Nani heaven only knows here's Pepe now driving it towards Cristiano Ronaldo on the far side of the field well defended by Van der Weyl and then it's won back by Ronaldo but not without a foul uh, and it's a free kick to Holland uh, Ronaldo once again having words with the referee uh, gives me an impression that he's unhappy not only with his own form at the moment and if things are you know, not quite right we're going to see a lot of complaining from him Well I've yet to see Ronaldo deliver in a major tournament There is that saying isn't there? Yeah. I know he's a world class player but you've got to do it on the biggest stages I've less doubts about Lionel Messi Anyway here's Huntelor who can't get into the game at the moment uh, tackle came in from Pepe ball broke to Morelos then it was given away to the Dutch and given back to Portugal given back to Holland again now this that sequence of play very rare in this group which has been of the highest quality De Jong De Willems down the near side the Dutch left to Van Persie will they be able to pick him up Portugal Van Persie will roam at will Willems to De Jong again De Jong back now to Vlaar and on to Van der Vaart, score of the opening goal in this game. Quarter of an hour played here on five live in Karka. Holland won, Portugal nil, but they need a, a two-goal margin of victory. And they also need Germany to beat Denmark. Moutinho steps away from Robin, squeezes the pass down the left side. Great ball. Now, Ronaldo, post again inside the penalty. Ronaldo, shoots low, hits the outside of the post. I have to be honest, as he cut in there, cut in from the left, moving it onto his right foot, opening up the goal for him I thought here we go show us now dragged it just a little bit hit the outside of the post but there was a chance to, yeah, he, he's for a danger. to draw of course he's a he danger. is a danger he has this tendency uh, playing for Portugal as, as he does for Real Madrid actually mm. to look around his teammates as if are you worthy <laughs> to be alongside me but he's a heck of a player there's a foul uh, on Robin van Persie on the halfway line uh, that was committed by Veloso and free kick to Holland just tapped by De Jong to Schneider Schneider looking for Robin and it was intercepted at the edge of the penalty here by Contrao not the greatest clearance in the full back gets the ball back uh, from Postiga and now he hits it up to the halfway line where it's back into Dutch possession Vlaar to Matthijsen Matthijsen slides the pass forward to Schneider into Van Persie lovely turn by Van Persie uh, then he ran into a Portuguese player and a chip forward Ronaldo is offside kind of been a great deal in it it's very Tense interesting evening. Alan because uh, De Jong is, he is the holding player we know that anyhow Van der Vaart has been all over the pitch he's just going from anywhere you, 
he'll come back and he'll play alongside De Jong now and again but basically oh there's a mistake ball given away to Postiga into the penalty chair shoot slow wide should have been 1-1 what a miss what a miss goodness me mistake there ball given away as you quite rightly say and he's in he's only got to push it past the keeper oh, what a gimme that was well, the keeper must have got a touch in that. Yeah, it looks like he's got a finger, but I, even then, I don't think it was going in. It was a poor, poor finish, wasn't it? Yes, awful. Corner to Portugal. To be taken by Raul Morales of Chelsea. In the 18th minute here in Carca, the Dutch lead 1-0. Morales drives it in very deep towards the far post, headed back by Bruno Alves, but well defended in the end by Holland, and the clearance runs to the halfway line. Uh, Palabento out at the edge of his technical area the Portuguese coach it's now played down the left side great driven cross into the penalty here only partly headed away Morales shoots into the side netting oh dear I know he's got I know he's shot up, but it has to go the other side of the keeper it does you've got I, I, I think it was Ronaldo there as well but irrespective of that the shock should have gone across the face across of the, face the keeper goal. not the right option uh, initially by Postiga and again there by Morelos so the Portuguese have just thrown that they can threaten yeah I think they've just warned Holland as well you know we can we can score we can cause you problems it should give Portugal confidence but Percy heads on taken up by Robin edge of the Pendler penalty error oh Robin wastefully shoots when Huntelard peeled away from the defender the shot hit a defender looked into the air and is caught by Patricio mm. typical Robin I have my views on Robin. Yes, I know. <laughs> and they're not... They're not... Uh, they're not necessarily flattering. complimentary, no. Yeah, I wonder now, what is happening in Lviv? Let's head off there now. Darren Fletcher. Germany lead, and the goal has been scored on his 100th cap by Lucas Podolski. Couldn't really miss. Low cross in from Thomas Muller on the right-hand side. And Podolski smashed it in from no more than seven yards. It's lifted the Germans and silenced the Danes. It's Denmark nil, Germany won. And here come Holland on the attack. That result in uh, that scoreline in the bib since Holland. Robin into the penalty here. Back to Van Percy. Van Percy tried to sort of slide the shot goalwards. It hit a uh, defender and Portugal survived. So at the moment, the revised table, mm. as things stand, Germany nine points. Portugal in second uh, place with three. Here's Postiga into the Dutch penalty. Onto his right foot. Great chance again. Where's he going? He ran back into Vlaar and the ball squirts away to safety for De Jong just repeating it Germany 9 points Portugal 3 points in 2nd place Denmark 3 points and Holland 3 points another goal though for Holland would alter that definitely definitely you know Alan in this last 5 or 10 minutes Portugal have had 3 good goal scoring chances and not taken any of them I think Holland better just be a little bit steady here 20 minutes played in Kharkiv Holland won, Portugal nil, and in the Biv, it's Germany won, Denmark nil. Being with Jan Molby in this same stadium for the opening game in Kharkiv, and you know Jan obviously delighted with Denmark's win. I thought, can they do it? He thought, well, how many more points can we get? Here, Portugal on the attack into the penalty here. The ball didn't break off Martinho's boot for Postiga, and it's cleared by Holland. But maybe Holland's all at attacking play here is making them vulnerable at the back. Van der Vaart, score of the goal uh, to Matthijsen. And now it's with De Jong. And De Jong, that's a good ball to the left side. To Van Persie, first of all. On to Willems. Willems now. Midway inside the half. Now he was fouled there. Clearly fouled by Pereira, the right fullback of Portugal. Uh, to a man, they're off the bench. Uh, the Portuguese bench saying that was not a free kick. I thought it was a foul. Well, I think they're cl claiming that he sort of just ran into him. That's a different incident that they're showing now. Anyhow, he's got his free kick. Which Schneider will take. And Matthijsen comes up from the back. And there it is, played in, and is hooked on by the defender on the far, toward the far side, towards Blah. I think it's gone behind for a corner at half. Yeah. That was well defended in the end by Contral, who's one of four players in the Portuguese team uh, that have a yellow card against their name. Another booking would see them miss the quarterfinals that is if Portugal reach the quarterfinals at the moment they're in second place of the group corner kick to Holland 
Van der Vaart to take it. Left footed. De Jong standing in the six yard box. There it is. Whipped in towards De Jong and he had a free header and he jumped too early and the header goes over the crossbar. Yeah, I just wondered if he was going to have to stretch a little bit for it, whether it was just a little bit too... But what I can't understand, and I've said this so often, that Portugal bring every player back to defend that corner and that they don't have anyone on the uh, on the post, they don't have anyone on the goal line at all. I can't quite understand that, that you bring somebody back and yet you don't make your goal that little bit smaller by having people on the line. Pepe to Veloso, Veloso drives it towards the right, a great control by Nani, bringing it down to the right of the Dutch penalty area. Nani now uh, has a fullback available, crosses in, oh, good header, good save by the Kellenberg. Ronaldo might have scored. He might have done it, it was a very, very good header. Leap way above the defender and got a, a good header in, good save. It is a good game of Yes, yes it, it is. is yeah. Yeah. It's really good is. Football we had that little tournament. bit of scrappy play when they were mm. sort of giving it to each other, but. Excellent. Pepe of Real Madrid and Portugal. Moving slowly towards the halfway line. Chipping it forward. Ronaldo's got to be offside. Yeah. You always wonder why the assistants are told not to raise the flag until the ball reaches the press. That's right. Yeah. Well, I, I'm looking. I don't know about you, and I'm thinking he's not going to. He's not going to give him offside. You know, sir, I'm not even sure he was. You yeah, know. No. Phillips might have played him played on him time. On. Yeah. Anyway, he was given off. Free kick taken by Holland. Van Persie uh, to Schneider down the left side. Schneider's more or less maintained that position. He Robin has. down the right. Yeah. And it's Van Persie uh, for whom the concern is from the Portuguese. For he's popping up everywhere. Huntelaar strictly uh, through the middle. Willems, oh, well, he may have been caught there by Nani, but what mm. a dive. Yeah. Goodness gracious. Get that out of your game, son. You don't need it. I mean, it, it was nothing. I think we've seen that now so much over the last two to three years at all levels of football. It's just tasteful. But it's going to be here. Well, I think we've got another goal. Another goal in the bid. We'll be going there shortly. But the pass by Van Persie given away. So it's time to rejoin Darren Fletcher. And Denmark here have equalised with a goal by Michael Crondelli. His second goal of the tournament scored against Holland in the first match. It was a corner from the right, headed powerfully goalwards by Nicholas Bentner and flicked beyond Manuel Neuer by Michael Crondelli. Earlier, Podolski had given Germany the lead, but we're back all square, and that puts Denmark back into second place and a qualification spot. Denmark won, Germany won. What a night in Group B, <laughs> eh? <laughs> Jan Mobby be breaking out in the, into the Danish national yeah. anthem soon. He threatened to do that with me. Oh, no, did he? He did, yes. Mm -hmm. He did actually voice a, a verse or two. But he didn't sing. While well, Denmark are currently in second place behind Germany. Holland, though, still have to win by two clear goals to go, give themselves any chance of reaching the last eight. And if they get into the last eight, then they'd play the Czech Republic in Warsaw Ronaldo on the far side of the field he's had two great opportunities Ronaldo he has Ronaldo moving in from the left side approaching the penalty air now almost tripped in the ball and is dancing around now to Morelos Morelos drives the cross over and behind for a goal kick yeah Need at least you know Ronaldo well he is a threat anyhow even if it's only intermittently but in this game he's had a few breaks and uh, looked very threatening Holland won Portugal nil in Lviv it's Germany won Denmark won Denmark can Denmark squeeze through goodness here's the free kick as uh, the goal kick rather taken by Stekellenberg hardly reached the halfway line Nani wins it on the near side of the field uh, tackled though by Willems Willems into Van der Vaart Van der Vaart has to be very careful he goodness he almost played the Postiga but he finds his goalkeeper and that's a better clearance by the goalkeeper this time but again Portugal pick up possession this is a good little spell for Portugal despite the fact that they trail here to Holland in Kharkiv Nani swings down to Ronaldo Ronaldo actually tripped lost the ball and De Jong takes it away for the Dutch clad tonight all in black Portugal all in red Robin on the far side of the field largely quiet Arjen Robin has support from Van der Waal the fullback we've played nearly 27 minutes here on 5 Live on the BBC 
Now De Jong swings it in to Van Persie on to Schneider. Schneider controls it left side onto his right foot, shoots a goal, mm. and Patricio got well behind it and made the save. Yeah, cutting on his right there and opened up the goal for himself. Got the shot in, but straight at the keeper. Here's Moutinho of Porto onto the near side and Pereira, who plays for Sporting Lisbon, back to Nani. We know who he plays for. Moutinho to Pereira again. Moutinho once more into Postiga. Uh, then back it goes to Nani. Nani was controlled it. And Van der Vaart finds Willems. Willems chips it poorly. Straight to Veloso. Veloso now. Uh, ignored the run of Barreles. Uh, played a 1 2 with Nani. Now it's with the right fullback. Pereira. Good spell from Portugal. Good ball played into Ronaldo all time. 1 1. Ronaldo delivers Van Marwijk absolutely furious at the way his defence was prized open Ronaldo Ronaldo 1-1 well there we are it's been coming hasn't it if we're being perfectly honest Portugal in this last 10 to 15 minutes have actually created chances haven't put the ball in the net but this time you knew it was there good movement Ronaldo's movement was excellent as well took hold of the ball the confidence you just knew he was going to score and actually Portugal have deserved it and at the moment Portugal are back up into second place in the group mm. having leapfrogged uh, the Danes who they beat in their head to head Ronaldo was onside, oh, he was onside. That. and it was a good finish excellent finish as well but that, you know, in this last 10 minutes or so they've actually been the better team they've taken it to uh, to Holland Ronaldo's been at the heart of a lot of their movements as well well, can Holland respond to that? Uh, here's De Jong on the halfway line. Uh, 29 minutes gone here in Kharkiv. In the first half, it's 1-1, as it is in Lviv between Germany and Denmark. Uh, Schneider down the left side. Back to Willems, and Willems drives the ball back uh, 40, 45 yards to his goalkeeper, to Kellenberg. Uh, the referee spotted something on the near side of the field. He's awarded a free kick presumably for a foul on Schneider we mentioned about Schneider playing wide on the left he's not left that position at all whether he's really comfortable with it or not I don't know he's not had the best of seasons at Inter Milan and uh, you know it's strange to see him being being sort of really isolated out here there's a great ball towards Schneider down the left side and the fullback Pereira uh, got across uh, what's the referee given he thought it was put up by Schneider thought the fullback was as guilty as Snyder was it's a free kick nevertheless to Portugal and now you hear the Portuguese fans in the background Portugal and Holland 1-1 Germany and Denmark in Lviv 1-1 if you want to hear commentary in that game it's on 5 Live Sports Extra with Darren Fletcher and Jan Mulby here on 5 Live we continue with the commentary here in Kharkiv there's a mistake on the far side of the line control in, control into Ronaldo behind Ronaldo picked up now by Nani Nani left foot shot just wide it was narrowly wide I think that was a bit uh, closer than a lot of us thought really it was certainly closer than Mr Kellenberg yeah, thought definitely he stepped inside Nani then and hit it very early with his left foot came across it got some power on it as well half an hour gone 1-1 between Holland and Portugal Goal kick then uh, to the Dutch. Stekelenberg takes it, clad in blue tonight. Driven towards Huntelaar, who's hardly had a kick. Yeah, we've not seen much of him at all, have we? He's got a throw in. Uh, a header out of play by Pepe. Schneider to take it. Huntelaar, the obvious target man, gives it back to Schneider. On towards Huntelaar. But the fullback did well. Pereira just stepped between Huntelaar and the ball. Clears it to Nani. Nani, who started well here tonight for Portugal. Uh, back to Pepe Pepe to well he ignored Bruno Alves played it back to his goalkeeper Patricio who chips it away towards the far side that's an excellent delivery from the goalkeeper and on by Contral to Morales down the far side Vlar just steps across and nudges the ball out of play yeah, very interesting there Morales' run came off Van der Vaart who made no effort to track him back no, he's at not all gonna, he's not going to do that he, no he's he not you can't describe him as a holding midfield player he's just another threat in midfield De Jong's got an enormous task tonight but it is what the Dutch fans have wanted. wanted yes. And and they want Huntelaar in. But here come Portugal again. Ronaldo to Bastiga. Back towards Nani. Hooked away to safety. Temporary safety at least by Matheson. But Portugal pick it up again. They've been the better side over the last they 10 have, minutes. They have, definitely. 
No, high in by control, and it's uh, wastefully high and wide, and it's going out of play. No, it's just kept in play by Willems. Why did you do that, actually? Because there were enough red shirts in attack, and as a result, you know, the ball's given away to Portugal again. Velosa. It's, in, it's interesting, isn't it? Portugal have come right on to the game, and you sense in the Dutch side a real falling away of appetite for this game. They've got to get a foothold yes, they have. again. Germany at the moment, the way things stand, uh, lead Group B. Portugal have the same number of points as Denmark, but they would be in the runners up position. Ronaldo drives in the shot. Sir Kellenberg could have caught it easily. Punched it away with both hands, both fists rather. Nani heads it down. Matinho on to Nani again. Portugal look as if they may score a second. Uh, attempted one two by Nani with Postiga. Ball partially cleared by Holland. Matinho on to Nani. Nobody picked him up. Nani will send it towards the far post. And goodness gracious, that almost cleared through to Ronaldo. Instead, it's hacked away to safety by Holland. From an attacking point of view now, Portugal are dominating this game. And they're creating goal-scoring opportunities. And when Ronaldo moves from that left flank, he's not being picked up. You're listening to Five Live in the BBC. Uh, coverage here in Kharkov. Holland 1, Portugal 1. Uh, in the other game in Group B tonight, Germany took the lead against... Denmark but it's now 1-1 Krondeli with the equaliser he got the winning goal against Holland in the opening game in this group 12 minutes to go to half time Bruno Alves seems to have been around forever Bruno Alves plays it back to Patricio the goalkeeper out to Bruno Alves again and he plays it down the left flank high towards Contral uh, Contral didn't make any contact but the ball ran to Postiga and now taken up by Ronaldo Ronaldo level with the edge of the Dutch penalty area the Dutch are vulnerable Ronaldo shoots it takes a deflection whips in the air and goes beyond uh, Nani behind for a corner it's all Portugal and uh, those supporters back, back in England will have seen Ronaldo do he must have done about 10 step overs on the ball then um, he's looking sharp Cristiano but why does the Kellenberg mm. not just catch that? What's this fixation with Punch. punching it? I think most goalkeepers in England would have caught that. They would, yes. Moutinho with a corner from the right uh, for a dominant Portugal, even though it's 1-1. Played in and the header was wide by Ronaldo. Well, yeah, just wide. Got the header in there first as well. Ah, it's good. It's as good as we hoped it would be. Yeah. And interestingly, the person he then beat to the ball was Van Persie. Goal kick taken by the Dutch, but the ball uh, came back very quickly to Sir Kellenberg, and he just bowls it out underarm to Matthijsen. Matthijsen now to Van der Vaart. If you're going to pick Van der Vaart in that position, you know, you're not anticipating uh, any defensive contribution. No. He's going to attack. And in the circumstances where they need to win by two clear goals here against Portugal, I think the selection is understandable. What news, though, in Lviv? Darren Fletcher is there for Five Live Sports Extra. We've got ten minutes to go in the first half here, and it's one all between Denmark and Germany. Uh, Germany have just won a free kick inside the D, about a foot outside the penalty area. Podolski fired Germany ahead with a close-range finish after 19 minutes, following Muller's cross on the right, winning his 100th cap tonight. He's just scored his 44th goal. Trondelli equalised five minutes later with a close-range header from a corner. Uh, Germany, though, looking the better side, and Denmark feeling the pressure. Denmark won, Germany won. Thanks to Darren and Lviv, and of course we'll keep right across that game with uh, frequent contact from Darren. Uh, Portugal with a free kick tap back to Bruno Alves Bruno Alves hits it towards the right side that was quite deliberately thought out by Portugal it was a good play too by Pereira back it is with Nani uh, Van Marwick looks very animated and increasingly concerned the Dutch coach Nani now inside right position for Portugal takes on Van der Vaart uh, beats him then checks inside Van der Vaart slips and then as Nani tried to take him on the outside again he was fouled by Van der Vaart but what on earth is Nani doing holding his face I want to see a replay of that. See, replay of if it, there was yeah. any proper contact, no, there wasn't. There was a hand on his shoulder. Yeah. Cheat. There it's, are many of them around, unfortunately. It's the right word, that. Yeah. So, free kick to Portugal. It was a foul, but the, there was no contact with the man's face. The free kick is six yards to the right 
of the penalty area and my money's on control the right fullback whipping this one in or is it Veloso? Veloso we'll see Moutinho's there as well and one, two, three, four, five uh, Portuguese red shirts inside the Dutch penalty area Holland's having taken the lead here pegged back by Ronaldo's equaliser and you sense they dare not concede a second goal before half time there it goes and it's just over the crossbar just over there yeah I think he actually fooled everybody because the runs were coming in he actually went for the shot and it nearly caught them out well, it was a good effort wasn't it, was. it Yeah, excellent effort goal kick anyway is the result uh, for Holland Holland won Portugal won Germany won Denmark won in group B I don't hesitate to say I think it's been the best group but of course you've got Spain lurking yeah. as well yeah. Spain lurking in England's path <laughs> that's assuming we get to the quarterfinals that'll be Tuesday night in Donetsk England against Ukraine when unless Ukraine win the game England will qualify yes and we'll settle for that but I don't want any nervy moments Veloso um, leaves it for Moutinho it's back now with Bruno Alves and I can't remember the last time that Holland were dominating this game. It seems a considerable no, time it ago. it is. I mean, just before, the ten minutes before they scored, Portugal had come back into the game. They scored and they've maintained this dominant position. Robin didn't look to the left where Schneider was. Played the ball to the right to van der Waal. And uh, it's out of play. It's going to be a throw-in to the Dutch. Schneider was in a great position. Robin wasn't looking. Throw goes back to van der Waal. And now it's with de Jong. Van der Waal once more on to Robin if we say it was time for Ronaldo to deliver time for Robin to deliver plays it forward to the edge of the penalty area where it's intercepted well by Bruno Alves and cleared surely by Contral Contral uh, does well it's very interesting Alan because Holland seemed to have slowed down since that equalised when they're in the possession of the ball there's not the movement now the ball is being moved slower than it was when they opened up the game and they seem to have been really affected by Portugal's equaliser uh, as things stand, if the scorelines score here in Kharkiv and in Lviv are the same scorelines at the end of the games, Germany would qualify uh, as winners on seven points. Portugal and Denmark have four points each, but Portugal would head the Danes, having beaten them in the head-to-head, -head, and Holland would finish bottom of the group on one point. Holland, World Cup finalists in Johannesburg. But that wasn't the uh, proudest of nights for Dutch fans, the way it they wasn't, played. No, no. There's been a lot of talk since then, hasn't it? It's the Kellenberg. Hits it away towards the right side. Robin jumps, heads it on to Van der Vaart. Van der Vaart with Bruno Alves snapping at his heels. Bruno Alves falls him, and it's a free kick to Holland. Holland need a lift they before do. half time. They certainly do. The crowd, uh, their supporters are quiet as well, which is understandable because they're probably, you know, the way they started, fine, and they take the, the lead. And I don't think the supporters will quite understand what has happened to their team. Five minutes to go to half time here on Five Live. 1 1. Holland, Portugal. Free kick played by uh, Van der Vaart. Rather lazily played, actually. And it was an easy catch uh, for Patricio. Uh, to the edge of his penalty area. Has Huntelaar had a kick? Not many. There was a huge roar when they announced the, the team over the public address system Fantastic. for Huntelaar's name. Ronaldo, good play down the left-hand side. Van der Waal back with him. Ronaldo into the penalty, drives the shot behind. I tell you what, Alan, you just quite. Yeah, I think you quite missed it. There was some control there by Ronaldo from this long diagonal ball. Look at it. It's down. Oh, that is brilliant. Onto his right that foot, and he, and he spun away in the same yes, movement. Yeah. There's not many players in the world can do that. That was absolutely first class. But the trouble is, look at the finish. The finish wasn't Woeful. so good. <laughs> <laughs> but. Uh, yeah. He's a great player. He is, yeah. It's the Kellenberg with a goal kick for Holland. Played towards the left side uh, to Van Persie. Now, I just wonder if Van Persie and Schneider are switching positions here. Van Persie mm. has come to the left side yeah. and Schneider has gone into the middle behind Huntelaar. Throw in. Uh, taken down the right side uh, by Portugal. Postiga tried to squeeze the pass through and not got, does find Nani. Nani now. Uh, uh, tackle on Moutinho but uh, it's taken forward now by Pereira Pereira uh, takes on Willems Willems was actually fouled by Pereira and it's a free kick to Holland 
but they're not remotely as convincing Holland as they were not in the opening all. quarter of an hour that equalising goal has really knocked, uh, knocked them for six we're, not, we're seeing very little from them we're not seeing much leadership on the pitch if any because you can't see they're just one or two talking but they do have a reputation don't they over the years you know if things aren't going well they don't get together they, they tend to fight one another that's a bad sign. There's a Mexican wave around oh, the, the stadium and the Dutch have been participating. Yeah. Portugal only qualified by the playoffs after a miserable start uh, to the group. They only took one point for the first two matches. That was under Carlos Quiros and then Paulo Bento took over. 1-1, three minutes to go to half-time. Bruno Alves free kick in the centre circle. Oh, that's well played to Nani. Nani knew it was coming his way. Great control by the United player. Nani now, just to the right of the penalty. Deep cross, Ronaldo jumps a fraction too early. Jumped and early, the ball didn't he? Eludes him. Jumped early, but we know how good he is in the air. He tried to hold himself, just wasn't able to do so. Ball went over his head, out for the goal kick. The goal kick was taken short uh, to the right fullback, Van der Waal, onto Robin. Into Van der Vaart, who's still midway inside his own half. Won't do any damage there. On to Van der Vaal on the far side. Reminding you, Germany won, Denmark won. Germany will top the group as things stand. And Portugal will finish runners-up, uh, nudging the Danes out because of the head-to-head. Ball played in the direction of Van Persie, but it was ahead of him. Pepe comes across, and Pepe with the clearance, I think, off Van Persie's boot. Yes, it's a throw-in to Portugal. Yeah. Percy they had a chance, but he's just looking at the fullback and saying, "Look, put it to my feet." Yep, he does. He doesn't want to be chasing after mm. that. Not with defenders of the quality of Pepe Arai. Throw in goes to the halfway line. Postiga heads it infield towards Morellas, but it's knocked back by Van der Vaart, and Blair finds the goalkeeper Stekelenberg. The Dutch have been flat since Ronaldo mm. equalised. Blair, not just flat, slower. They have, and yet it's not. Um, and they played all the games here in Kharkiv mm. it's not remotely as hot tonight not as, as it was for the first the two games the tempo has gone out of their game they've got a free kick on the far side of the field they're right left for Van der Vaart to take Huntelaar moves forward but not that far forward and the free kick's actually tapped to the Schalke striker Huntelaar back to Van der Vaart on to Robin down the far side uh, Robin got past one defender couldn't get past a second Morellas clears it Ronaldo spins away good control by Cristiano Ronaldo back to Bruno Alves Alves chips it to the right side behind his fullback that was poor from Bruno Alves oh. he knows it and it's a throw into Holland oh that's naughty from Pereira a second ball was thrown towards uh, the pitch he knew Schneider already had the ball in his hands for the throw in and of course Pereira allowed the ball to encroach on the playing surface holding up play throw in negative from Holland goes back to their goalkeeper we're in the final minute of the first half you're listening to 5 live in the BBC Holland 1 Portugal 1 the same scoreline as it is in Lviv between Germany and Denmark hit forward by Holland in the direction of Robin cleared by Bruno Alves out of play can't be much time to be added on at the end of this first half the fourth official by the way is Martin Atkinson um, and he's not reaching for his board. I don't think we're going to have any out of time. We aren't. No. Nope. That's half time. What are your thoughts, Graham? Well, the way that Holland started the game, you're thinking they're really in business. They go 1 0 up. Superb goal from Van der Vaart. Yes, this is the Dutch side that we're aware of. Portugal come back, give them credit. They get on top, they equalise, and from that moment in time, they have been the dominant side, and it's as if the Dutch aren't on the pitch. And Portugal not only deserve to have equalised, they arguably should be in front. Correct. Right. At the moment, the way it stands, the Dutch will be bottom of Group B and they'll be going home. Half time. Holland won, Portugal won. Holland all in black with a, an orange flash uh, down the front of their jerseys. Tonight, Portugal playing all in red. Nani into Veloso hasn't Nani played well he's played well he, he loves a dribble doesn't he he loves being on the ball just uh, a, a remark here Alan Robin has gone to the left flank Van Persie has come out to the right Schneider and in the Schneider's middle. gone into the middle well I, w- I was expecting much more uh, fluid movement I was from yeah. those three yeah. but largely they, they stuck with Robin on the on the right Schneider on the left Van Persie in the middle mm. they need to find something else here Holland having started the game so well to take the lead now it's paid back to 1-1 and remember they have got to win by at least two clear goals and hope 
that Germany beat Denmark. But Germany and Denmark are 1-1 in Lviv, as is this game in Kharkiv. Tentative opening to the second half. De Jong, back to the captain, Van der Vaart. Van der Vaart, one of three changes made by uh, Van Marwijk. Van der Vaart in for the captain himself, Van Bommel. Van der Vaart to De Jong. Huntelaar, another change, hasn't done a great deal. Uh, there's a partial mistake by Portugal, but they tidy up well. Ronaldo, Ronaldo, back to Moutinho, and Moutinho plays it to the left side to Morelos. Morelos takes that ball well on his chest. And if you thought the body language of the Dutch since Ronaldo's equaliser wasn't good, it'll be awful if Portugal take Certainly. the lead. Bruno Alves, forward to Ronaldo, great touch back by Ronaldo. Nani chips it forward. Ronaldo's on side into the penalty area. Ronaldo shoots and it hits uh, uh, Van der Waal, which is very fortunate for Holland. Yeah, I'll tell you what, it was a great touch. You just mentioned it there, but the ball came at so, so much pace to him. He took the pace out and just laid it off. There are not many players can do that. Robin crosses from the left, deep looking for Huntelaar. Huntelaar uh, gets his head onto the ball, but he can't find Van Persie. And away come Portugal again. They've been much the better team since Ronaldo's equaliser uh, after 28 minutes. And they had good chances before that as well. Ronaldo, who does appear to be in the mood, running forward. And then Vlaar, judged by the Italian referee, it was no more than a few yards away to have fouled Ronaldo, free kick Portugal. Yeah, I think that's the biggest thing, isn't it, about Ronaldo as well. Such a talented player, etc. And it was, you know, does he go down too easily? And does he sometimes cheat, if we can say, by doing oh, other things? The, the, the thing about this is that, is that it's, it's so difficult to say because if you do see a tattle coming into you, should you stand up and let him tattle you or do you get out the way of it? Do you know what I mean? Understand. And you get out the way of it and then you can be accused of cheating or going down. It, it's a difficult one. Uh, but I do, having said that, I do think that Ronaldo, great player though, is, does go to ground sometimes rather easily. Portuguese free kick swung in from the left by Martinho and headed away by De Jong. Morellas from that headed clearance to Bruno Alves on the far side of the field. Bruno Alves whips the ball in towards Ronaldo and Postica, half headed away, and then it's a shot on the volley by Martinho, high and behind, goal kick to Holland. He yeah, didn't get hold of that at all, Martinho, and uh, all over the place. But once again, Portugal have started off quite brightly. And having said that uh, a second Portuguese goal would have a terrible effect on the Dutch, what if Holland score? A second goal. Will they be revived? And will they be hoping that the old foes Germany uh, dispatch Denmark in Lviv? At the moment, it's 1-1 there and it's 1-1 here. And you're listening to 5 Live in the BBC. De Jong from a Dutch throw-in. Oh, Morella's foot was high. Uh, De Jong kept the ball, did well, finds Van Persie. Van Persie steps away easily from Matinho. Plays it away to the far side. And it's now with Willems. Willems on to Robin, starting on the left flank in the second half. Robin cutting in field, running away from his marker. Robin is being pulled back there, but he's still into the penalty here. Robin keeps going, and then he may have fouled Pepe. No, he got the corner. He gets he got the, the corner. corner. Good run by uh, Robin Nutt. He uh, taking players on. We know his capability of doing that. He's just prevented to get the cross in. Flower comes up. Matthijsson comes up. De Jong comes up. Adding to the Dutch presence in the Portuguese penalty here, but it's not the best of corners, and it's punched away, Huntelaar from the clearance, back to Van der Waal, crossed into the penalty area, Pepe heads it away, only to Van der Waal, Van der Waal slips it to the right side, and Schneider, Schneider with Robin nearby plays a 1-2 with Arjen Robin then Schneider whips it in, headed on by Matthijsson and I suspect there would have been an offside flag against Van Persie if he'd uh, managed to get any touch yeah, on the ball, certainly looked like he it. didn't so play continues and here's Moutinho. Moutinho's played well too. But that... Oh, goodness gracious. That was, uh, to say the least, aggressive. And it's only a yellow card for Willems. It's his second of Euro 2012. So if Holland do reach the quarterfinals, he won't be playing in it. But I, I thought it was a really bad it's tackle. It's a bad tackle, that. Doesn't matter. I mean, you're going in, you're off the ground, you're going with your studs showing right into the play that that could be a sending off yes. uh, offence uh, yes. well both feet left the ground oh. um, then fortunately for him 
one of them regained uh, contact with the turf, but it was still a terrible oh, tackle. Yeah, it's a jump tattle. They call a jump tattle. And I know people back in, in England sometimes, oh, they're taking all the physical contact out of the game. That's definitely one of the things you should take out of the game. Yeah. Jump tackling into people like that. He's only 18 years of age, but he's got to learn to eliminate that from his game. Definitely. Or he'll spend a lot of time on the bench watching on. And um, uh, the Portuguese player, Moutinho, still receiving treatment. I'm not surprised. We're getting a, a better 4 3 play of the tackle. Mm. He's having to limp off at the moment. Uh, and I think one of the uh, Portuguese staff just had a quiet word in the ear of Martin Atkinson, the fourth official. <laughs> but he would have seen that as a bad tackle as well from his position. Uh, Moutinho is limping on the far side of the field. I, I, I suspect he'll come on. Yes, he's coming back and now. And he is coming on. Yeah. He is coming on. So play has resumed. Seven minutes gone in the second half. It remains Holland 1, Portugal 1. And again, that Holland have to win by two clear goals if they're to have a chance of finishing runners-up in this group. But, of course, Denmark are also drawing at the moment, so the Dutch would have no chance, chance. No. even if they win this game. But now Holland have got... Uh, a free kick I suspect yes for a foul by Pereira or it's only a corner maybe Pereira thought he was fouled uh, by Schneider it's just there you know you run two paces and then fall down that is cheating Schneider uh, shakes as if to take the corner changes his mind steps back a couple of yards and then he taps it short to Arjen Robin whose angle's good back to Schneider Schneider crosses in what a chance for Blair, and he heads it over the what crossbar. What a miss. I think it's gone onto his shoulder. I think he's actually not connected properly with the head. It goes onto his shoulder. We're just seeing a replay of it. It's a great opportunity for him. Comes off his right shoulder, goes over the bar, loops over the bar. What a miss. He was unmarked. Mm. Unmarked. And he knows that was a huge opportunity to put Holland back in front. Holland won, Portugal won. In Lviv. It's Germany 1, Denmark 1. As it stands, Group B, Germany will win the group. Portugal, even though they have the same number of points as the Danes, will finish as runners-up. Mm. There's an offside flag against uh, Pastiga, and it's a free kick to Holland, who still haven't got the momentum that they had in the opening no, period of the game. You can't see the urgency in them, can you? It's, uh, Here's Robin, uh, balked there by Pereira, but the referee gives the free kick the other way, and Robin's absolutely livid. Free kick to Portugal, uh, who've been the, the better side not just since the Ronaldo equaliser because they had chances before. Yes, it. they had. No, I, well before. And give credit to them. Now, you know they went one nil down, and the response was very, very good. Uh, Pepe passes back to Patricio. Patricio slides it out to the near side. And Contral, the left full back. Uh, Contral looking for Ronaldo, diverts off to Young out of play for a throw into Portugal. Ronaldo takes it swiftly back to Veloso, and then away to the far side of the field in the direction of Nani and that was well played actually by Willems he was aware of the close presence of Nani and he safety first flicked it out of play for a throw in which has already been taken Nani back to Moutinho 25 yards out that's a shot wide mm. ain't good enough um, I keep looking at Schneider he worries me he worries this is not the player that we're used two to two years he's done nothing yeah. Graham mm. Not Done taking nothing. part, just, you know, isn't getting hold of the game, not looking to get involved in it. And, you know, he, he was so closely linked with Manchester United, mm. you would have had to pay big, big money for him. Here's Nani, just over the halfway line, right in the centre circle. Uh, Nani's pass forward, came back off uh, Van der Vaart. Has Van der Vaart's selection been justified? Uh, I mean, obviously he scored the goal. Well, on that alone, you would say Yes. But uh, the way they're playing, just with the one holding midfield player, is not what we're really used to uh, with Holland. But uh, I just think their performance has been so disappointing once they went that goal down. Now they're on the attack. Van der Waal uh, plays it back to De Jong. Lots of black shirts inside the Portuguese half. That's a great ball by De Jong to the far side. Excellent control too by Robin. Robin then tripped. Careless free kick for Pereira to give away. A couple of yards in from oh. the right touchline, oh, then there's shocking. an inadvertent that collision between shocking. Schneider and uh, Pereira. No. Uh, Pereira made too much of that, he did, did to that. say the least. 
and well done uh, Mr Rizzoli the Italian referee <laughs> I mean they were Basically, Pereira was standing in front of the ball, trying mm. to deny the, uh, the opportunity yeah. to take a quick free kick. He was nudged by Snyder, and he fell over as if he'd been knocked out by it's Muhammad two, Ali. two five-year-old schoolboys fighting over a ball. Free kick played into the penalty here, and it came off a defender, I thought. No. No, it's a goal kick. Well, De Jong made the best effort uh, to meet that free kick swung in. But to no avail, it remains Holland 1, Portugal 1. What news, are, I wonder, of the game in Lviv with Darren Fletcher? we played 56 minutes in the second half here. Still Denmark 1, Germany 1. The two goals in the first half from Podolski and Krondeli. But a fantastic chance in the second half for the Danes. The ball was played into Jakob Poulsen. He was 12 yards from goal. His shot beat Neuer and shaved the outside of the post. Lots of tension inside the stadium. Denmark looking for a goal. It's Denmark 1, Germany 1. Remember, you know, if, if Denmark were to beat Germany and th this game finished in a draw, Denmark would top the group, having won the head-to-head -head against Germany. I mean, there's still oh, anything can happen in this group. Uh, Schneider was caught there uh, by Matinho, who says sorry, but the pass was successful anyway. It goes to the right side to Van der Waal, and now de Jong. Back to Van der Vaart. Van der Vaart's very deep at the moment. On to Schneider. Van Persie's down the right. The ball played through the middle towards Huntelaar, but ahead of the striker. And it's through to Patricio, the Portuguese goalkeeper. And Huntelaar's se selection, however popular, ain't working. He's not worked, no. I mean, he's a goal scorer, isn't he? That's the thing. It uh, puts the ball in the net. And he's obviously not getting the service. The, some would say the most important thing, but he's not had an opportunity to do that. And the rest of his game isn't isn't as clever you know that that thought of Denmark beating Germany and this game finishing as a draw just never entered anybody's <laughs> head and Denmark would win the group Germany would be runners up <laughs> Van Persie uh, over ambitiously looking uh, for Robin didn't reach uh, the Bayern player and Portugal have the ball Bruno Alves on to Morelos on the halfway line slipped to the left side and Contral and on to Ronaldo as it was for the second part of the first half Portugal looked much more likely to score than the Dutch Contral again up to the edge of the penalty area quite deliberately played the ball into the shins of Van der Waal and wins the corner which Morelos will take from the left side that bank of vivid orange in the far left hand corner distinctly quiet at the moment I think they sense, a bit like the Dutch players, that they're heading out of Euro 2012. Morelos finally gets the ball on the quadrant. 14 minutes gone in the second period. The referee's watching for pushing inside the penalty area. Morelos looking for movement from his players. Played in deep, that wasn't uh, in the game plan. Headed away by Huntelaar. Should be knocked in by Matinho again. There it goes deep. Pepe with the header down. Ronaldo, edge of the penalty. Should throw! And it's played in Postigas offside though. Postiga finished off. Ronaldo's shot come across, but it doesn't count. Yeah, I think they stepped out. They stepped out well enough as well to catch uh, Postigo offside. But uh, once again, Portugal there. Really, I wouldn't say they've dominated the second half, but they've certainly come out very bright and brighter than uh, the Dutch. Good play by Phillips on the left side. Crosses into the penalty chair where it comes off the right foot of Pepe in behind for a corner to Holland. Phillips will not play in the quarterfinal should Holland make it. Another yellow card for the 18-year-old tonight. Schneider will take the corner from the left. He'll hit it right-footed. Vlar had an opportunity a few minutes ago. Will he get another one? There it goes, a long way, headed up in the air by Pepe, dropping inside the six-yard box. Uh, unconvincing punch by Patricio, but he gets the ball out of his penalty area, and it's cleared by Contral to the centre circle, where it's met by Willems. Willems, uh, back to Matthijsson, who'd gone up for the corner. Now Van der Weyl to Vlaar, and Vlaar... Well, there's not a great deal of movement ahead well, of them. I was saying, you, static. Do, you would not normally see this with the Dutch side. Once again, the wide men... A sticking wide. It, it, it's so surprising, this. Well, I was reasonably confident that Holland could beat Portugal before mm. the game uh, by the so required margin, but the way the game has gone, Portugal are the better team. 
and they would deserve to go through with Germany. But I'm a lot will happen yeah. in the I'm last 30 minutes myself. of both games. Yeah, there is no smiling to myself there, Alan. There's a bla- bad pass to Ronaldo. And as he turns away from the player, you can see what he thinks about the pass. Then he turns back to the player, smiles and claps him. <laughs> <laughs> De Jong uh, to Vlaar. Vlaar still inside uh, his own half. To Van Persie. Look how deep Van Persie is and he's lost the ball, but uh, he only lost it because he was tripped mm. by Matinho and it's a free kick to Holland. But they're too slow and there's not enough movement. Not enough movement off the ball by the Dutch and that's so uncharacteristic. Van Persie, though, after the free kick, comes forward. Back to Van der Vaart. On now to Schneider. And on Robin on the far side, the left. Robin now level with the edge of the penalty area. Back to Schneider. Schneider, uh, attempted cross, uh, looking for Van der Vaart, headed away by Portugal. Schneider again to De Jong. Back to Flora inside the centre circle. Moving over the halfway line now, the powerful central defender. Preferred to Heitinga in the starting 11. A possible substitution coming up for... Portugal, Oliveira, striker warming up and he's taking off his top as well, there's a pass looking for the run of Huntelaar intercepted by Portugal uh, presumably the change would be for uh, Postiga, you'd think so on the far side of the field, Nani, he won't be taken off, not the way he's played, but mm. though he was caught in possession there, look at, did you see the fury mm. from Ronaldo, yeah. uh, you know over 60 yards away he lives the game alright Well, he loves all his play- playing colleagues he always has them yeah. not necessarily me 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 but he is a special player he was I think we were so fortunate you know in England to see this young boy come to Old Tra- and develop into a great player watch him over the years Matinho uh, he's got Postiga to his right and it's played to Postiga and now back to Pereira Pereira oh good uh, touch by Matinho Pereira's attempt to cross blocked by Schneider Ball fall to Van der Vaart. Good play by Van der Vaart. Back to Schneider, and then the clearance to the halfway line. But Huntelaar is completely on his own. On his own, isn't he? Yeah. Not had really, you know, for a goal scorer, he's not had that kind of service. At, uh, and without being unkind to the boy, it is his goal scoring that he's in there for. So he needs to have chances created for him. You're listening to Five Live in the BBC. Don't forget that on Five Live Sports Extra, you can hear commentary on Germany against Denmark with. Darren Fletcher and Jan Molby that game in Lviv and then just as a throw was taken needlessly another ball thrown onto the pitch that's happened quite a lot it does isn't it you know, slows just, it all down you know, they're, they're trying to keep the game moving but they're doing that without thinking here's the change Oliveira for Postiga not a surprise Oliveira who plays for Benfica well, there's a yellow card against uh, Postiga, so there's no point in him risking not being available for the quarterfinals. At the moment, Portugal will be in the quarterfinals as runners-up in Group B. Germany will top the group. But what if Denmark score in <laughs> Lviv? It's all uh, ifs and buts still. Here's Matthijsson uh, to Schneider. Schneider spins, and then I don't know whether that was a, a shot. Uh, probably it was a cross. Looking for Huntelaar, didn't get it right and it uh, rushes behind for a goal kick. I know I've said this earlier, but this is not the Schneider that I recognise from, as you say, a season ago, 18 months ago. Well, I'd always be tempted to put Van Persie into Schneider's yeah. Uh, yeah. position again mm. and no. bring on Affalai. Van Persie here on the right-hand side, being pushed back. Mm, that's not Van it's Persie's game. It's not Van Persie's position, is it? Uh, I think uh, Van Marwijk will get a lot of stick if Holland go out tonight. Robin to Schneider all can change with a, a, a quick goal particularly for the Dutch of course here's Schneider to the right side and Van Persie 25 yards out shoots hits Bruno Alves and ricochets to the halfway line it ricochets all the way towards Oliveira good tackle by Matthijsson Willems on to Robin on the far side of the field taken on by Willems good referee played the advantage Willems into the penalty chair and then he almost trips in the ball yeah. loses possession and Nani should be able to clear yeah. Just at times, Willems, and I know he has, you've got these costs, he gets a bit too excited. I think it's a lack of experience. Oh, Portugal gave that ball away, and uh, then they were lucky to get it back. And, well, Morales just shrugged off the ball by De Jong. Fair challenge, Morales made far too much of it. He's not going to get a free kick. But then Holland don't uh, make use of possession. They squander it. Morales is 
face down on the turf. Meantime, his side are on the counter attack. It's with Ronaldo. Ronaldo onto control. Control left foot just saved by the Kellenberg. It was almost 2 1. Good save. Excellent save. Well, the referee's done well there, you know, because uh, Morales down on the ground all of the time and he's let Portugal continue with the uh, play. I think that's right. I think these are referees' decisions. I'm not so very keen when I see the ball being just sort of passed out of play. We're having a replay there. I can't see the reason for Morales going down in the manner that he did. No, he's still down, to be fair mm, to him. Yeah. Um, and, you know, if he was spaking it, mm. he'd have been up by now. Unless he caught him in and around the throat area. I, I don't think it I was any... I can't tell. Afalai, by the way, like that... that, that substitution we were thinking about it's going to happen mm. Afalai's coming on mm. and my money would be on Schneider to go off well but Percy's not in the right position at the moment that's to affect for me. I don't, I don't see the value of a Van Percy that we know playing wide right uh, will they make the change before this Portuguese free kick well Afalai is coming on for villains well interesting it is. Are they just going to play with three at the back? That's the way it looks. See. That's the way it looks. Well, they're certainly going to attack. They have to attack. They've only got 23 minutes of Euro 2012 left. Morales is off the pitch, having got back on his feet, and his team of a corner at the other end of the pitch. Martinho will take it. 1-1, Holland and Portugal. 1-1, Germany and Denmark. There it goes, deep towards the far post, headed up and away by Van Persie. Brought under control on the far side by Van der Waal. Van der Waal, who's on the left flank. Van der Waal, great run down by Huntelaar, down the right side. Van der Waal tries to drive it in towards him, takes a reflection off a defender. Bruno Alves didn't clear it either. Collected now by Afalai. Afalai, just on a substitute. Back to Schneider. Afalai again. Morellas back on the pitch and trying to force him wide. The pass goes back to Schneider. There was a great opportunity there um, if Van der Waal had spotted the yeah. run from Huntelaar. Matthijsen uh, to Robin on the far side of the field. You know, I wouldn't be at all surprised if they just had two at the back. Matthijsen and Blair. It's hit towards the right side. Afalai volleys the cross into the penalty area, but no one had anticipated that, and it's through with goalkeeper Patricio. 22 minutes left for play here in this Group B uh, final match in Lviv it's Germany 1, Denmark 1 and that's the same scoreline here at the moment Germany will win the group Portugal will finish runners up now, uh, Van Persie now a judge to uh, Farl Pepe uh, but Pepe is definitely a He's player that I see a lot uh, caution Van Persie caution Van Persie the yellow card. well I want to see a replay of this oh yes he did use his arm he used his into arm the, to kill into the face of Pepe yeah, yeah. He's just given to exaggeration, the Real Madrid central the time, defender. Yeah. They've definitely gone three at the back, you see them now, just uh, yep. saying they're pushing in. Yeah, Van der, uh, Van der Waal, Blar and Matthijsen, they're the three. And when you've got players at the pace of Nani and Ronaldo, and Oliveira's on as mm. substitute, they're, they're taking a risk, Colin, but what other well, opportunity do they have? I say, they, they have to go for it, I mean... But just generally, I've been both surprised and disappointed with Holland. I did expect something different, something better than their performance tonight. Bruno Alves with a free, resulted free kick. Driven in the direction of Nani. Uh, headed away by Vlaar. Here's Van der Waal, one of those three central defenders now. Hits it over the halfway line. Headed back by Bruno Alves. Taken on the chest by De Jong. De Jong feeds it down the right side. But it's out of play and Hundelon knew that. The intention was right. The delivery was wrong. And uh, what is the latest news, I wonder, in the Viv in the other game in this group? Darren Fletcher. 20 minutes to go. Denmark 1, Germany 1. Germany controlling possession in this second half. Both goals came in the first half. Podolski for Germany and Kron Deli with a headed goal to equalise for Denmark. They've hit the post in the second half of the Danes through Jakob Poulsen, but they can't get the ball off the Germans at the moment, and it remains Denmark 1, Germany 1. We've also got 20 minutes left for play here. Somebody's phone went off there in the Viv. Uh, don't answer it. <laughs> ball is back now with Stekellenberg. Stekellenberg hits it towards the left side, where Robin is, but... Uh, the pass didn't find him. Pepe with a clearance. I knew Pepe wasn't badly hurt. He never is. 
Nani on the far side of the field. Nani hits it long, driven towards Ronaldo, bouncing awkwardly for Van der Waal, but he heads it very carefully back to his goalkeeper. It's going to be very interesting, this three at the back, because undoubtedly Ronaldo will get some one-on-one -on -one situations. Uh, well, Morella screamed there as if he was hurt. He wasn't hurt by any apple-eye challenge, uh, but Morellas is coming off. Mm. And we've got uh, Custodio uh, from Braga, who will replace him. Well, maybe he was more badly hurt in that challenge than we thought, Graham, to be I fair mean, to him. He could have been. I just wondered... So Morales is off, Custodio is on, and we've got 19 minutes to go. And Holland have to make something happen very quickly here. Remember, they've got to win the game by two clear goals. But Portugal on the counter-attack here. Ronaldo collects the ball on the left side, moves into the next penalty. Great ball into Nani! Oh, Nani should have hammered it into the net! It was saved by the Kellenberg! What a wasted opportunity by yeah. Nani! Is that a shocking miss, or is it a great save? because he's come right into it. I mean, he's set... Ronaldo has set Nani up so easily, hasn't he? And he comes in, he lays it across, sees it so well. I, I think that's a terrible miss. He should score from there, just should Whatever the goalkeeper does. Absolutely Give, awful. Yeah. That would have been the, hand of, uh, the end of Holland. Definitely. Even the hand of Holland. <laughs> Corner to Portugal, from the right. Played in towards Ronaldo. Headed clear by Van Persie. Veloso. Uh, no great urgency from the Portuguese but they better be aware remember the danger still holding Germany 1-1 what if they score a second goal they'd actually win the group <laughs> here's Matheson for Holland uh, to Afalai Afalai at the moment is uh, well he's not he's in a sort of central midfield position Huntelaar's down the right Van Persie's through the middle Afalai takes it up moving towards the right touch line then changes his mind flicks it back to Vlaar Vlaar with Matthijsen to his left and it goes to Matthijsen uh, available down the far side is Schneider and he gets the ball from Robin's pass Schneider in now to Van der Vaart Van der Vaart spins edge of the penalty area trying to elude a defender didn't come off and it's cleared by Portugal now Matinho to Nani and Oliver is running through the middle and here's Ronaldo Ronaldo on his right foot 2-1 Portugal the Dutch are going out and Portugal will be triumphant. It was always going to happen. That back three just pulled all over the place. Once it came to Ronaldo, he didn't take it first time. A lot of players would have done. The confidence to stop it, step inside the defender, almost have a look, see where the goalkeeper was, and put it into the other post. Absolutely superb finish, but that has been coming. I have to go the other side. I just can't see what this back three is doing for Holland I mean they are a defeated side but congratulations to Portugal the way that they've handled this game and Ronaldo has shown oh, Nani how to finish definitely uh, look such we're, coolness we're just seeing a replay of it again it's a, a first class but you knew when he got the ball he was going to score I mean just a moment or uh, so ago uh, Ronaldo lays on a, a, a certainty you think for Nani Nani wastes it and this time Nani delivers to Ronaldo 2-1 Portugal so that puts Denmark back into third place. Well, they were they were in third place actually. Remember, at the moment, Germany are heading for seven points, Portugal six points, Denmark four points, and Holland. Would you believe it? Will have lost all three games at Euro 2012, having lost just one qualifier game, and that was the last one to Sweden when, when it didn't matter. I know. You couldn't have forecast this. Afalai, uh, De Vlaar and back to Matthijsen and I wouldn't begrudge Portugal any celebration tonight because they've been much the better team complete silence isn't it from the Dutch supporters Robin on the far side of the field in uh, to Afalai Afalai to Schneider Schneider now surrounded by red shirts goodness they've worked hard Portugal uh, they get in a tackle outside to play for a throw in to the Dutch we've got 15 minutes to go here on 5 live Holland 1, Portugal 2. Cross into the Portuguese penalty. Bruno Alves heads it clear. And that ran kindly uh, for Portugal. And I can see them scoring another goal in the I break can. here. Here's Oliveira. Tanani. Yeah. Look, look how look, much room Ronaldo has down this I can't, side. Honestly and truthfully, I will, 
I'm looking, I can't believe it. How can you let a player like Ronaldo have that amount of free space? Right, what news in Lviv? Darren Fletcher. Well, it's had a deflating effect, the goal that's been scored by Ronaldo on the Denmark supporters here. Germany still dominating proceedings. It's still Denmark 1, Germany 1 with those two goals scored in the first half. Denmark have offered very little in the second, just that Jakob Poulsen shot that showed the outside of the post. Denmark, Germany have spent the majority of the second half around the Danish penalty area. Changes imminent from Morten Olsen, but these are desperate times now for Denmark. Denmark 1, Germany 1. Thanks very much, Darren. My mathematical brain can't get around the scenario if Denmark score again because then they'd all have three points Germany, Portugal and Denmark Denmark I'm told have to score twice uh, if Germany are to be eliminated but the Germans won't be, uh, won't be coasting there we've got 13 minutes to go here on 5 Live Holland having taken the lead and promising so much at the start of the game as they did in the first two fixtures against Denmark and Germany now trail 2-1, two, two goals by Cristiano Ronaldo who's played exceptionally well tonight uh, Moutinho couldn't bring the ball under control, Van der Vaart clears lovely touch by Schneider, onto Robin. Robin then slips, was he fouled? no he wasn't, Moutinho oh. and here's Pereira, Pereira Ronaldo's on a hat-trick remember it goes to Nani, it's towards Ronaldo goodness gracious I think it was Oliveira who got a touch on the ball, Stekelenburg saved anyway Yeah, as I mentioned earlier, this back three that Holland are playing. They're being pulled all over the place. It would not surprise me if Portugal scored again. Now he's gone down injured. It's a Dutchman. It's a Van der Waal, and he he won't go down in these circumstances unless he's actually hurt. He can't waste any time. As things stand, Germany will play Greece in Gdansk next Friday as group winners of Group B against the runners up um, in Group A, and the Czech Republic, the winners of Group A will play Portugal in Warsaw on Thursday. De Jong, inside the centre circle. Holland, surely now without hope. Van der Waal, on to Afalai. Uh, back to De Jong. Huntelaar has come close, and then, as the pass went to him, Huntelaar anticipated De Jong would move forward to receive their turn pass. He didn't, and as a result, Portugal had the ball again. They try to play it down the left-hand side, but Vlaar comes across and knocks it back to Stekelenburg. Had no chance for Ronaldo's goal. Not at all, but you're looking at the Dutch side. This is a beaten side that we're watching. And uh, the players are reacting in that way. They're giving no, in, you know, that really we're going to... Here come Portugal again. Herrera into Oliveira. Ronaldo waits anonymously and oh, Oliveira wastefully, greedily shoots wide. <clears throat> the Dutch fans, you know, uh, they've, they've been camped in Karkov, literally mm. camped on campsites around the city. And they've been their usual magnificent selves, but they will be so disappointed at what they've seen. Ronaldo to Contrao. Contrao uh, tackled by Van der Waal, and the ball is behind for a corner to Portugal. You know, when Ronaldo gets the ball and he lays it off for someone else, I get a bit disappointed. <laughs> uh, you can tell by, uh, yes, there's parts of Ronaldo that we haven't liked, that's going down to the ground, etc. But this is a fantastic player. Corner. Uh, to be taken by Veloso from the left hand side and do we look they've committed five players inside the Dutch penalty here driven deep for Bruno Alves Bruno Alves heads it back across goal header at goal by Oliveira but it's saved by Stekelenburg somebody laying they've down created, injured they, yeah, they've created far more chances oh than, definitely than oh, they deserve to be in front they deserve to win the game and you know I'll tell you what this just has a little reminding of me how the Dutch are reacting very much like, I have to say, how the England team were in South Africa and got the criticism because there was an accusation that the real effort wasn't there. Now, I'm not going to say that it was or it wasn't because that's most unusual, but I think the Dutch supporters looking at this, I think they'd be quite, quite by themselves if they were to say, OK, we get beat, but where's the effort? Where's the attitude? It's, it's, it's poor. It's certainly been absent tonight. De Jong for Holland uh, to Afalai of Barcelona inside the centre circle and now Van der Vaart good ball to the right side to Van Persie Van Persie now for Holland 
uh, to Van der Waal into the penalty low ball in towards the far post never likely to reach Huntelaar though as it's swept to safety by Nani uh, by uh, sorry Pepe out of play and there's been a goal in Lviv Darren Fletcher can tell us about it it's a goal for Germany and surely Denmark's hopes of qualification evaporate with the goal scored by Lars Bender playing as an emergency right back the Bayer Leverkusen player Germany turned defence into attack in four passes the ball was played into the penalty area and in front of the Danish supporters Bender side foots a second goal for the Germans who are going to win the group with three successive wins Denmark won Germany two nine minutes to play Thanks very much, Darren. We've got nine minutes to play precisely here as well in Kharkiv. Uh, I still fancy there's going to be an opportunity for Ronaldo to score a hat-trick. Uh, Holland, rather shapeless at the moment, and clearly their body language indicates they're a well-beaten team. They do, it does, yeah. And this is what I, the point I was making, that the supporters will you know, be very puzzled, and I'm sure some of them will be angry, because the performance has been very, very poor the stats show they've had 58% of the possession though <laughs> you know well, uh, that, that, that can be meant to tell anything you've got to make uh, what you have of possession Martinho I think has had an excellent game Martinho <laughs> having praised him he's just given a wasteful ball straight to Holland De Jong uh, to Apolli still inside his own half and now he's not he's running through the centre circle plays it to the right to Huntelaar who's hardly had a kick all night Huntelaar Eight minutes to go. Huntler switches play from right to left to Robin. Back now to Van der Vaart. Van der Vaart shoots a goal. Hits the inside of the post. And he's so unlucky because it, it ricochets to safety. And Portugal survived that scare. Now Apolli crosses from the right. Great effort from Van der Vaart. And off his right foot, which was uh, is very special for him. Scored the goal with his left foot, bent it in. This time didn't quite get the full bend on it, but still a very good goal. Checks inside, doesn't actually beat the defender, but swerves it round, looks for the far post deliberately. Wonderful effort. Yeah, very, very good effort. Portugal throw in, headed on by Ronaldo, knocked out of play by De Jong. And, uh, well, the Portuguese coach, Paulo Bento, would be quite happy for De Jong to take his time giving the ball back a, a ball was available anyway Contral with the throw in for Portugal to Bruno Alves uh, back to Patricio Patricio hasn't been put under this amount of pressure that we thought he would be not the way the game started no. his clearance up fields headed down by Van der Vaart back to Stekelenburg uh, Mat- Matthijsen look where Van der Vaart is midway inside his own half Holland are going home Germany are going to win the group Portugal are going to finish second and in the quarterfinals it'll be Germany against Greece Portugal against the Czech Republic those games next Thursday and Friday and we, what we want to see come Tuesday night is England making sure that they're in the last eight as well England-Ukraine from Donetsk Graham and I will be heading to Donetsk tomorrow it's a great journey Graham we're going a coach it's only going to take us five hours here's Van Persie up to the edge of the Portuguese penalty area uh, gets past the defender easily crosses towards Huntelaar well defended by Pepe heading it behind for a corner yeah. little bit of Van Persie's skill that we see for Arsenal once again you see I think he's played in a position that you know where you're going to get the best out of Van Persie if you play him wide on the right Schneider takes the corner and it was a terrible corner easily intercepted and, and Portugal rampant on the counter-attack here watch for Ronaldo the sprint down the left side will he get the ball delivered instead it's into the penalty to Nani not for Ronaldo oh Nani chips it onto the roof of the net wasteful again it is it just runs 70 yards there Ronaldo he's now walking back and what a sprint yeah, yeah what a sprint Yeah, I, I thought he was wearing a Jamaican shirt there and it was the <laughs> 100 meter final in London it was fantastic from Ronaldo He's, you know, he, he didn't start the best. No. But I think he has delivered seriously tonight. Definitely, yeah. As I say, I was impressed with the comments I read about him where he said himself, I should be doing better. And yep. uh, I like players that look at that. At that. I'm always of the opinion you never play as well as people tell you you have done, and you never play as badly as the critics say. And you, you, it's left to the players yourself to be able to say, yeah. This is what I can Hollander, f- Hollander falling apart here. Nani comes forward, and again, he blasts a shot high and wide mm. with two players, including Ronaldo, to his left. Look at the glare from Ronaldo towards Nani. Yeah. And Nani running away isn't going to look back at him. 
uh, but Holland um, are finishing very badly here. Rolando is going to be another change for Portugal, uh, a defender, and uh, you don't blame them. You don't blame. Them. Just shore up what they've got. The group uh, looks at like this at the moment: Germany play three, one three, nine points. Portugal uh, play three, one two, six points. Denmark with a solitary win, their opening game against Holland, and the Dutch have nothing. And a mm. goal difference of minus three. And <laughs> if I was a betting man, I would have put money in the Dutch before the tournament started. Free kick, played into the penalty. Huntelaar with a shot on the volley about a yard wide. Well, there it was. First shot. Got it on the volley, kept it down all right, but missed the target. After 85 minutes, mm-hmm. can't First think of shot. any other any no. other meaningful contribution from him. But without question, the Dutch fans feel that Huntelaar should oh, be in the starting definitely. eleven. Yeah, and he got a tremendous reception when his name was announced in the team. Uh, Nani's going to be taken off, and maybe uh, Ronaldo's coming to this near touchline just yeah. to say in his ear, "You wistful little devil." <laughs> <laughs> He's just having a word. How, with how many goals team. would I have scored if you hadn't been so selfish? Uh, we'll see. <laughs> Nani uh, comes off. Ronaldo's walking in his vicinity. I bet he gives him a hug and a kiss and shakes his hand. Yeah, oh yeah, high fives. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> You'll sort you out in the dressing room, yeah. son. Three minutes to go. Defender for striker. Uh, Rolando moves alongside uh, Pepe. And they've gone to a back five, actually. <laughs> but to be fair, both... both Fullbacks uh, mm-hmm. love to attack. Contrao uh, on the left and Pereira down the right. Here's Oliveira. Oliveira uh, held off two challenges. The ball's still in play on this near side of the field. Now it's not. And it's a throw into Portugal, which Contrao will take. Contrao throws it to Veloso. Veloso, oh, pass back wasn't good. It's out of play. And now, De- uh, I was going to say Denmark. Holland have an opportunity to get the ball forward but they're losing this game 2-1 and they deserve to lose the game guys. Definitely. I mean I've been very disappointed with their attitude, their approach yes you can look at the team selection and question why he's played there or he's played there but once the team is selected it's the player's responsibility to go out there and approach the game in a positive manner apart from the early stages we've seen little ball played through Van Persie shoots wide and a, unfortunately, apart from that sublime finish against Germany, that rather sums up Van Persie's tournament. Excellent. Yeah, it's a, exactly what you're saying there. Because he's come through. You're not going to see him with an Arsenal shirt on. <laughs> Miss that. No. We haven't. I've never seen that in the central, in the centre of goal with just the goalkeeper to beat. You don't see him miss those when playing for Arsenal. Oh dear. Two minutes left for play here in Kharkiv and Afalai runs down the right he got a little nod there from Oliveira so he gets a free kick but it's too late for Holland they'd have to score three goals in whatever time that remains and it ain't enough time I bet you that they don't <laughs> alright <laughs> but I'm not taking up the bet <laughs> yeah. I accept it <laughs> Schneider to the left side and Robin Robin midway inside the Portuguese half moving in field gives it to Schneider Schneider crosses but he crossed without looking and Rolando heads it away now Van der Waal to De Jong who I think has probably had uh, a good tournament for Holland mm. but not many of them have had cross to the edge of the penalty chair Van der Waal who's now in an attacking role tried to flick it back to Huntelaar to have a crack at goal it was cleared by Portugal it's out of play we're inside the final minute here on 5 Live reminding you that in Lviv Germany lead Denmark 2-1 Germany will win all three games in Group B and Holland here will lose all three games in the group. All of them played here in Kharkiv. Veloso, that's a wonderful ball. And Ronaldo takes it under control. Here's a shot from Ronaldo. Hits the post. Brilliant. Oh, dear me. Deserved a goal. I'm, I, I've got to say, Alan, I'm pleased I'm at this game. Why? To see Ronaldo play. That was fantastic again. Unleashed him, steps inside whacked it at the pace of his left foot there and whacked it against the post I mean whenever this fellow's had possession of the ball he's threatened danger to the Dutch goal we've got four minutes of added time coming up by the way Chris Warburton will be uh, presenting coverage of the Greek 
election uh, campaign 2012 and then at uh, half past ten on five live we've got coverage from the Olympic uh, club in San Francisco of the last round of the US Open golf come on Graham come on Lee home winner please ball is back with Patricia uh, Holland don't need these four minutes they know they're having a chance Patricio hits it upfield, headed back by Van der Waal. And now Contral, the left fullback for Portugal, to Bruno Alves. And he dinks it in the direction of uh, where he thought Ronaldo might rush, but I think Ronaldo's done more than enough tonight. Outstanding, but he's hit the post twice, yeah. he scored two goals, and he's been a threat uh, from virtually the first minute. Terrific. So almost every time he gets the ball, he's, 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 he's been that threat wanders about what's amazed me is that the touch have hardly picked him up at all they've let him get the space that he wants and let him have the ball Vlar uh, to Huntelaar Huntelaar to Afalai down the right side Van Persie's in the penalty the cross wasn't good enough it deflects off Veloso up into the air and is caught by Patricio they, they just look so limp now Holland mm. it gives Actually, the impression they, they, they can't wait limp. to get off the pitch they've they? looked limp since mm. Ronaldo equalised and that's a long way back that was the 28th minute when they had started so brightly two minutes of added time remain here in Kharkiv Kharkiv can be proud of uh, the show they put on here in Euro 2012 Robin comes forward he's fouled yellow and that's card, a booking yeah. for Pereira but there was no yellow card against his name so he's okay he's right. in terms of the quarter final free kick 30 yards from goal maybe 35 yards from goal De Jong's gone up there it's played in deep looking for Huntelaar headed away by Pepe uh, kept him playing the near side of the field by Afalai down the Dutch right crosses the ball in left foot it's a weak cross and Bruno Alves uh, hits it clear he's moving towards the halfway line Van der Waal chips it forward again in the direction of Afalai once more Bruno Alves comes across and we've only got 90 seconds of added time remaining Portugal lead Holland by two goals to one Germany lead Denmark by two goals to one it'll be Germany who finish as Group winners, Group B winners, and Portugal, on this performance, certainly deserve to be Group B runners-up. And I would bet, I would back both of them against the Czech Republic and Greece. Certainly, yeah. And Germany, the only side in the competition to win all of their three games. Here's De Jong. Uh, De Jong, the ball goes out of play. It's going to be a, a throw-in for Holland. Uh, De Jong, almost on the halfway line inside the last 50 seconds thrown towards Huntelaar down the right whose selection hasn't paid off maybe it's not maybe it's not his fault maybe mm. we, we should be saying uh, you know how much uh, how many opportunities did he get from service next to none all the Portuguese bench are up out of the dugout they're willing to celebrate uh, Holland on the attack though and like much of the Holland attacks tonight it breaks down Van Persie couldn't get the ball under control it's back with Patricio mass celebration shortly <laughs> uh, the Portuguese bench are telling their colleagues on the pitch oh it's time up it's time up don't worry time up and here's Veloso uh, Veloso uh, looks to the left side and Oliveira Oliveira uh, back to Moutinho I think had an excellent game onto the far side we've had our four minutes of added time there is the final whistle cue Portuguese celebrations and they deserve they merit them they've been the better team tonight Graham without any question whatsoever and they've beaten Holland by two goals to one they've been a better team by a mile even more than that very very disappointed in Holland their approach to the game their attitude was absolutely shocking but don't let's take any credit away from Portugal and Ronaldo in particular you could almost say Ronaldo two one. Absolutely. <laughs> so Portugal have finished as group runners up here in Kharkov, having beaten Holland by two goals to one.